I was at the park yesterday, and uh, I went up to a duck. It was on the shore. It was just kind of sitting there on the, <laughs> you by went, the side you of the lake the duck. or pond. And uh, it looks at me. It's sitting down. It doesn't move. Okay. It just looks at me. And it does that thing where it just kind of softly quacks. You know, it's like, meh, 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 meh. Right. And uh, I get closer. And I can tell it's breathing heavy. I'm like, okay, well, it doesn't. It you doesn't say, you say, this seems like a good, good situation to keep, keep going. Right, right. So I sit down. You know, you gotta, you gotta let it know you're not a threat. Right, right, right. right. So it's still breathing heavy, and then it kind of calms down, but it's still doing that. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. It's kind of looking at me, and you yeah. know you've earned that animal's trust when its breath, I, when it, its it, breath honestly, gets calm. Sounds to me like you have a no, no, no. You know you trust. have once it starts getting calm, and then it yawns. And this, I'd never seen a duck yawn and stretch before like that. I was like, that's really cool. And then I pulled a pokeball out from the back of my right, pocket. Right, I was just going to ask. Sounds like you, you made it docile. So you, what do you use? A, a regular ball? You, you use up that master ball on this bad boy? I, uh. Great ball? Net ball? Duck ball. Classic duck ball. Yeah. It, do, it does specifically get ducks and only ducks. 50% higher chance of successfully catching a duck. That's better than like. Beating an animal half to death <laughs> to weaken it. That's the, that's the point of the adventure. Hey everybody, welcome to Speculation Station. I'm Joseph Thomas, here as always with my good buddy, Eric Crittenden. I'm the real Pokemon. I'm a shiny. You caught me. I usually throw him out there uh, whenever I need to do a battle, and in this case, we're doing a battle on a little show called Speculation Station. He got me with his netball, because I'm a bug type. Because sure, I bug him. You sure are a bug. On this show, we take a I video game I stunk his series. mother and she died. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm also poison type. I did not disclose that information upon catch. I think you have three types. I'm bug, poison, and bird. <laughs> bird. Wait, bird is not. Bird is not a type. <laughs> well, now hang on a second. It could be. What do you mean? Are you saying there is no other way to classify the Pokemon? Pokemon Other types. than the specific Pokemon types. types. Let's see. I think you could filter the Pokemon types into uh, animal kingdoms, if you will. This new Here adventure I've created. You ready? Yeah. Normal. <laughs> Fire, fighting, water, flying, grass, poison, electric, ground, psychic, rock, ice, bug, dragon, ghost, dark, steel, fairy, question mark, question mark, question mark. I like how they put bug and then dragon. Yeah, no other animals exist. Because, like, those are the later gen ones. So they're like, guys, we got some new ones. We got fairy, we got dark, we got dragon, we got bug. So, you know. Take your pick. <laughs> collect them all. Here are, here, here are all the dragon type Pokemon. Oh, Charizard's not on that list? No, yeah, that's he's fair. A, he's a fire bug. He's a, he's a bug type. I mean, some Pokemon. Not to get too into the Pokemon from the jump, but some Pokemon were like reclassified. I believe Lucario gained dark in a Pokemon X. Yeah. Something like that. So because I think otherwise he was fighting in psychic? Fighting normal? I don't think he was fighting normal because he's always had like the aura thing. They're all the same. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So Yes. What do we do on this show, Joey? On Speculation Station, we take a video game, be it a series or a single title, and we try to make a movie out of it, but not just any movie. A movie that'll get fifty five percent or more the more doesn't really matter. No. Just like having more Pokemon in your party than six doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, we go for 55% and yeah. call it a day. We dust off our, our boots. We dust off our dusters. Yeah, so Pokemon movie. Now, there have been... Several. A couple. Several. Pokemon movies, but here's the fun thing. We've only seen one of them. Yeah. Or I've only seen one of them. I've seen bits and pieces of them before. You get the gist. We're definitely the best people to talk about this one. Not only have we never seen any Pokemon movie except Detective Pikachu, <laughs> we've also never completed a Pokemon game. What are you talking about? Anyway, so <laughs> we are... Well, look, with Speculation Station, you never know what game type... Look, we don't choose these guys. We we put them in the old randomificator. That's what we call it, by the way. They're not all going to be hits. In fact, I would argue most of these in the second half of this season... We're not going to know that much about Right, but we're committed. We're committed to, we got dumpster brains, but sometimes people throw out a wedding ring. That's the most accurate thing I think I've heard all week. 
That was a... Uh, I've been studying Confucius. He said that. He said, I have dumpster brain, but sometimes says, <laughs> people throw out a wedding ring. Right. He was, he was ahead of his time. I think everyone who knew him said that. He said, what, what's a dumpster? What's a brain? I know wedding ring. That's when we form a ring around someone who's getting married. <laughs> and how do you throw this out? How do you put that in a dumpster? Not that I know what a dumpster is. But I could eat a whole spaceship. A what's a spaceship? I don't know, but I Ugh. bet I could eat one. What's a dark Pokemon? <laughs> Considering we are the the dingo brains and we know not that much about Pokemon, how do we make A, a good Pokemon movie, B, a Pokemon movie that doesn't rely on having a wealth of Pokemon knowledge? Let's look at the example that worked in the most recent example, which was Detective Pikachu. Wait, hang on. Did it work? I believe it did. What do you think? Well, we're not we're not going for your approval. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, are we looking we're not up going the stats? For our, I'm looking up that Rod Tomatoes rating. 68, we take it. That's a success. That is a success. <laughs> In speculation station terms, that's a success. <laughs> so if you had to pick one Pokemon, we've already seen Pikachu. We've already seen Mewtwo. We've already even seen Lucario in a movie. Which one was that? The Lucario movie. Was that, was that one of the cartoons? Yeah. Well, it's got to be a big one, like a popular one. Like big in size? Also, yes. <laughs> a very a large Pokemon. Because, like, you can't go with... You can't go with Gumi. Like, no one's going to pull up to watch the Pokemon Gumi movie. We have the list... All right, so there's 800 Pokemon. What what are we doing with them? Let's think. Let's go through not one by one, just kind of by you know genuine category. The uh, the Bulbasaur family. Any any takers? You know there? there's 800 Pokemon. Now, if you, let, if go... you let me finish, my dear boy. All right, go ahead. Anybody in the Bulbasaur family? No, not really. I don't like grass. Charmander type. family. Nah, not really. Squirtle family. Nah. Caterpie. Okay, so. <laughs> Here's the actual list of the top 25 most popular Pokemon as uh, uh, taken from a Reddit poll with 500,000 people. Charizard. Okay, Charizard is most popular? Yes, according to this. We got That's Gengar. That's believable. We got Arcanine. Okay. We got Bulbasaur. We got Blaziken. Ew. We got Umbreon. You got Lucario. You got Gardevoir. You got Eevee. I think we can make a movie about Eevee. Legitimately. Actually, that would actually be a really good call. I don't know if there's been an Eevee movie. Eevee is... I mean, look, look, there's probably been a Pokemon animated movie about Eevee, but we're going mainstream. We're going in theaters in America where things... <laughs> where it matters. Uh, also, Eevee was, uh, I guess, the major... Pokemon featured in the, uh, the a recent game of Let's Go let's Eevee. Let's go Eevee. Let's go Eevee. Okay, so let's let's ask some simple questions so we can get a better understanding of this character. <clears throat> is Eevee a dog or a cat? According to the Pokemon uh, video games, Eevee is a mammalian creature with brown fur, a bushy tail, and has cream colored tip. Could be could be either. And a furry collar that is also cream colored. Could be. Right now it's fitting into both categories. Eevee has brown eyes, big ears, and pink paw pads. Not helping. That was the answer for is Eevee a dog or a cat? <laughs> that was the worst answer. Is Eevee a girl or a boy? Eevee has brown fur. <laughs> <laughs> so are we going to go, because we have to answer this question pretty much first. Yeah. Do we go live action? Do we go... Not live action. You know, do we go do we go like Detective Pikachu did? Do we go yeah. animated? And if we do animated, what kind of way do we do it? Do we do 3D animation or 2D animation? Well, it looks like the cartoon Pokemon do not have ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. And since Detective Pikachu does, we're going to have to go live action. So Eevee is going to be the main Pokemon. Do we want to have a main human then? Because every Pokemon, I, well, well, we could, every Pokemon I mean, needs a trainer. There's two trains of thought. One, the one that I want to go on is to do, you know, yeah, like you said, you have a trainer, you have human live characters. However, you could also go like a Pokemon mystery dungeon with it. Oh, well, that would be Well, there are no humans. No, no, no. And well, there, there are humans, but they're not main characters. 
or really characters at all. They're just kind of background elements. Background, yeah, where it's more... And in that case, I'd probably lean more towards we do like a... 3D CGI. 3D, yeah, animation style. It's more stylized. I think we can definitely do that. Now, there is a third route we could go. All right. Which we're, we don't look at Pokemon necessarily... I mean, as a... I guess a story to follow when we look at it more as a as a setting where the genre is open to us. So we could we could like lean towards genres. We could do I don't know, romance. We could do like noir. But we could well, I guess do they that already did with, noir. Well if we did if we did Detective Detective Pikachu as it is in the games, then we'd totally yeah, I, do noir. I mean, yeah, you, you you have this world with a Pokemon and then from then on we kinda dig in and say can we do a, a love story? Can we do a hard hitting drama, a action movie? You know, these. Can we do a thriller? If we use what a- Detective Pikachu has set up as a foundation, meaning yeah. the way that it really simply just expressed, hey, this is the world. We don't have to give any lore. These things right. exist. Like everyone gets, everyone pretty much gets right. it. Right. And even by if now. you don't know what a creature is, you're not going to be like, what the heck is that? You're going to be like, okay, well, that's. Hey, you're like, okay, these are the animals and they're people's pets. Right. Kind of. <laughs> if nothing else, you get that. Oh, yeah. Grandma can get that. I think, I think I like your idea better because the mystery dungeon would imply us to do two things. One, make the Pokemon talk. And two, have us know anything about mystery dungeon. I'm not wild about the mystery dungeon one, I'll be honest. I think it would be a fun idea. I definitely think... I think it'd be fun. We just don't know anything about Mystery Dungeon, A, and B, I feel like it'd be more of a lighthearted kids film, and we already kind of did, like, a couple of those in a row. Yeah. I mean, we could go the traditional route of trainer gets Eevee and goes on journey. I don't like that either. Easy. Yeah, I know. I don't either. It's too easy. I like I like Eevee playing a more important role. Right. But different from Detective Pikachu. But in the same world. Not necessarily in the canon of what happened in Detective Pikachu, because then we bring into question how many people's souls can be put into Pokemon, you know? Um, Like, this could be so far removed from that. Yeah, because, I mean, all it has to be is the same universe, you know? Yeah. It could be 20 years before, 20 years later. It doesn't matter. Pokemon never changed. We don't see the guy. We don't see Ryan Reynolds. We don't see him. So here's, okay, let's look at Eevee as it is a Pokemon, and let's see if we can pull something from that. The concept of Eevee is the ability to become anything out of like... Right. Well, not anything. Okay, like eight options. Not in a ditto way. There's eight options for Eevee. You've got from infinity to eight. (laughs) What I'm implying is, very much like humans, we can't become anything, but we have potential. uh, You have Eevee, which is the normal one, or I guess you just don't evolve it. That's, I guess, the first quote-unquote evolution. You have Jolteon, which is electric, Flareon, which is fire, Umbreon, dark, Leafeon, grass, Sylveon, fairy, Glaceon, ice, Espeon, psychic, Vaporeon, water. I think if you want to go the one-of-a-kind route, you can either go, this is the the one-of-a-kind Eevee, or the stones are only one-of-a-kind, and there's only one left. So this is, in effect, the last Eevee capable of evolving. I think if we go that route, we would need to set it up in an area that that would be believable. Once again, it we only want to set it up to be believable for the hard Pokemon fans. We don't have to explain that to just the general yeah. audience. If we have like a throwaway line somewhere in the beginning of the film that says we're out in the middle of like this island in the middle of nowhere or whatever, you know, and yeah. an Eevee is not natural here. Like this is not their natural habitat. <laughs> and so someone's going to call us out. No, yeah, nobody's going to be like, oh, wait, you can't say that's the last one. But we could say that maybe the Eevee is unique and the stones are in abundance on the island. And so then maybe it could be a question of, and this is this might be a little too weird, but it could be this question of, you know, people wanting the Eevee to be something else and the, the trainer having to be the one to decide for that, you know? Because you could have somebody who's like, oh, I really love an electric type Pokemon to power my TV, you know, or something. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, well, sure. No, no, that's the stupid answer, but you get what I'm saying. Or you can have somebody who's I like, it inside my TV. it's like, oh man, these, these, you know, the waves, the tide is messing up this. If I had a way to push the water out for a while, you know, if we had a water Pokemon, 
And then you have somebody this is who could be TV like, TVEV. Yeah, you know, it's what he's like, oh, the grass isn't growing, you know, or whatever. There's each, there's a need, right, for each one. And the trainer okay. almost has to go through this process. It almost seems more like a short than a movie, but I think we can make it work. Where the trainer has to go through this journey and to find out what, what is, you know, what do I choose? What does Evie, what does Evie want to be? I think that would be the final thing. Well, you can have it be, you can, um, parallel that you know we like doing parallels here on speculation station with a the young trainer having a coming of age where he or she or they or whatever evolves along yeah they have to decide what they want to be because you can't be a pokemon trainer forever yeah or maybe ooh, maybe it could be a little older of a pokemon trainer instead of like a you know someone who's like 16 maybe there's someone like in their mid-20s who's like all their friends are getting jobs. It's kind of past the point, yeah. Right, yeah, like, everyone tells him or her or they or whatever. Uh, well, that's kind of what Detective Pikachu did, but I definitely think if we push that age thing up a little bit further and say, like, yeah, everybody's thinking, already uh, yeah, set in like, their jobs, you know? Whereas Detective Pikachu, I believe, was it Tim? Wanted, he... he couldn't decide what he wanted to be, and he wanted to become a Pokemon trainer. Right. This is kind of the inverse, where they are already a Pokemon trainer. Oh, and everything's just kind of like, it's like the end yeah, of their story. Yeah, it's like, do I, is it time for me to grow up with the world? And obviously, the answer is no, because this will be <laughs> sponsored by Nintendo and Pokemon, who want you to keep buying their games. I think the movie, can he can grow up. She, it. They, whomever. <laughs> I'm just saying we get I'm just saying that's not the message that Nintendo or Pokemon would want. Sure, sure. Do I well, we do don't I care, care what they think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the parallel of the, the trainer evolving with Eevee. Or wanting to. Or thinking about it at the very least. If not desiring. Um I don't hate the idea of it being I you said like set on a little island or something. Yeah. I don't know about that specifically, but like kind of small town, I guess. Not just small town, but set in a place where we can we can have. I think we could have an example where maybe this person that's been on the island has done Pokemon stuff for a while, and all of their Pokemon. I mean, we could always go the route and be like their Pokemon that they had died or something, right? Mm-hmm, and that maybe. could be maybe their their original idea could be you know what after after my Pokemon passed away. I've been contemplating whether or not I want to go ahead and stop, you know, doing this. And then they get an Eevee. Really kind of morbid start. I think, I mean, no game has ever answered the question of what happens when a trainer stops being a trainer. No, because the whole point of the games is for you to continue right, being exactly. a trainer. exactly. So we could kind of, I mean, we have some room to work with that. I think you have two options. Either you return the Pokemon to the wild or you, like, Toy Story fashion, give the Pokemon to a younger generation. And maybe and maybe that's what happened to this main character, where they gave their Pokemon away to some kids or, or you know... Because, I mean, they, they, they aren't, like, red, you know? They're not, like, the best Pokemon trainer ever. That would also be the other question, is if you're not in it for the career, you know, and you have to do other stuff with your life, because not everybody, because not everybody can be a Pokemon trainer, you know, like for like as an adult or as a kid, a- as a job, you know, it's like it's like yeah. esports. It's like some people are good enough they can still make money off of it when they're you know when they shouldn't be playing games, um, but most people who just play it casually do not make their living off of that. So you're saying that okay? So it's, yeah. It's like so like if you have an animal that's a pet, you're more likely just to kind of keep it as a pet and not focus on being a trainer. Just kind of focus like, on... Like, yeah, you're not going to be a dog. You're not going to the great dog show. Yeah, or the dog fights, which right. is more accurate to Pokemon. I guess I never thought about that. That's an interesting point. Of course, the Pokemon are cool with it, you know, because they can't die, I guess. Because, like, in Pokemon, yeah, your character becomes the best. What about every other person you've ever passed? They just, what they probably, they're probably, okay, so this goes back, this is what, something ooh, recently, ooh. go ahead. What if, what if we started and, like, our main character is one of the people that, like, red passes, 
it, like they fight with their Pokemon and get absolutely like clobbered. So what are they gonna do with their Pokemon then? Do they just like give it to? Some- well, I think I think this happened like early on, and like they always tried to succeed and be the very best after that, but like they never could attain that. They could never like get over that time where they got beat so bad by Red. Then I think their main potent their main partner Pokemon has to die. Because otherwise, there would be no reason to Did Detective for them to Pikachu just give it do up. that? The problem is, it's real hard to kill a Pokemon. What do you mean? Are you kidding me? You can't beat them up because they faint. You can heal no, them no, instantly, no, no, no. so there's Are no, you there's no that's sickness. A quitter? Are you saying that's quitter talk? I'm just, saying it, I'm just saying it's hard to kill a Pokemon in a legitimate reason. Sure. Like, it can't be battle. Because that's not I, how I really it works. think it should be old age. So we could imply that the gu- we we could do it like this. This is gonna sound weird. Yeah. This might have some undertones that we don't like, but I'm gonna throw it out there anyway. We show the individual when they're younger. They get beaten by red or whoever, and it just kind of sticks with them. And we show them as they're going through life, like the Pokemon they're with evolves and gets older, and then it passes away. Cause, you know, it's an animal, so it's shorter lifespan or whatever. Oh, what well now hang on. Hey, we don't know about Pokemon lifespan, so I guess we could do that. What what if you what if he never like evolves the Pokemon because like he never fights? I because think he's that so would like, be like yeah, he gives up. Burnt out. Man, that'd be sad. You have like a whatever, like a toto dial, you just see the d- pain in its eyes. Whatever Pokemon it is, we don't have to decide. Sure, sure. Gets a Pokemon on the lower end of the lifespan. Yeah, like like tier two, like above Pidgey. Sure. But like below, and, and, you know, a good one. Below like Luc- Lucario or whomever. Right. It's it's like one that people can also like. Because, like, you know, like, it's yeah. going to be... Like one you'd have in your represent... team, but like you wouldn't really... Like he'd always be on the cutting room floor. Yeah. Like you might do XP share, but that's about it. Yeah, like you don't use them <laughs> that much. That much. You might use them like, you know... Uh, you throw them out there first if you know you got to get get some time. Right, like they have a lot of oh. HP, so you let them faint while you whittle down the enemy's health. <laughs> so you're saying we do kind of an up beginning where we kind of show this montage almost. Yeah, that's right, boys. We're back on the montage train. We show in the beginning. We show, you know, young trainer and relatively young Pokemon. Right. Um, and like young, like 12 or something. Yeah. yeah, and they're like, I'm going to beat you. And then we see faceless, you know, Pokemon trainer, you know, with a red cap and red vest. I think it should be, I don't know if red should be established. It should be kind of like the our character almost saw him in red or they, she in red, whatever, as rivals. Almost like not, not in any official capacity, <laughs> not, but like. I don't know, because then that would imply we need to bring them back later. If we give the implication, true. and I think if we lean to the side of. Red came to the island because of something, like because of the stones or something. We could establish that as a point. Okay. And then the other person could be like so starved of social interaction or something. Because, you know, they live on an island with a bunch of old people or something. Right. So like, oh, another Pokemon trainer. You know, I'm going to challenge you, blah, you know. Because what we can do that. And then maybe the mom is like, don't you know who that is? I think a lot of the people on the island should not be against the idea of Pokemon training, but they don't see it as a legitimate lifestyle. I, I honestly don't think they should care one way or another. That's a good point. Yeah, because then that would bring in the question of like, oh, you're not, which we need to be. I do like the idea of them all wanting a different, like, use. Po- well, Pokemon from this training EV. is not e- e- esports, you know? Like, it's been proven you could have, like, a legitimate Pokemon trainer career. Oh, of course. More more importantly, these are the animals of the world, so you could technically even just right. be a farmer and technically be a trainer. Yeah, but uh, I, uh, it, and you kind of see that with all the funny, kooky characters that pop up along along the Pokemon landscape. You've got some guy who's got a bunch of Woolaloos, and he's like, look at my sheep! Woolalo. I mean, Woolaloo! And then he rolls them in the field. Bye! Bowls them. Uh, and they explode, and you're like, that wasn't supposed to happen. I put tie bobs in them. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> it's okay. They just faint. He's kicking it. Close it down. It's like <laughs> its leg is over behind him. It's like its head's in front of him. <laughs> it's fainting. It'll get up. I have to take it back put it back on its it, ball. It'll be okay. I promise. I promise. Take it back to the Pokemon doc. It like holds the ball in front of the decapitated Wooloo. It's like, get in there. And it just <laughs> it doesn't move. 
<laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> this is unexpected. How strange. Let me use a healing potion. <laughs> like, smashes off the ground. <laughs> next to the head. How on? That's never happened before. How about a berry? <laughs> Squishes it on top of everything. Get up, Wolulu. He's still so happy. I, th- I, I think, think our main the- character should see adult life as almost <sighs> not a bad Inevitable. Thing. Not a bad. I- inevitable could be a good word. Or like the natural next step. The evolution, if you will. I, yeah, so let's not. So, assumably, they don't get cynical, right, but they right. just kind of lose their naivety. About Pokemon? About Pokemon training. Uh, yeah, about Pokemon training. Because Pokemon are just the animals. Yeah. You know? Well, you have to be careful so it doesn't become a like Moana situation where it's like, I want to leave the island and go out. Like, no, 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 no. That's not This what character kind of. Like, they're cool. The reason why I think the island should have a. a, a Abundance of these different types of stones. Yeah, and island might be the wrong word, but like small community. Yeah, small community. But, mo- but like a- modern, not like rural. Maybe like a mining town. Like it's a modern town, but it was known for something. Okay, yeah. There's no EVs there, but that would be a reason why Red would have gone there is because there are the evolution stones. Or probably just like one there. specific type of stone or whatever, yeah. But the implication would be EVs are not natural to that area. Right. So when the EV is present, it, that be, the EV itself is the MacGuffin because now it can become all these other things based on the the surrounding uh, environment. I feel like we're getting close, but we're not quite there yet. Cause like, what's the movie about though? Let's let's create a problem. So we've got trainer trainer A. Yeah. Loses to Red. Yeah. We see that's a just montage. The, that's not even the setup for the story, though. That's the setup for the character. Right, right. They lose to Red. Yeah. They. We see montage of them growing old. Yeah, with their like Pokemon. they're trying to do Pokemon. Like they win some battles, they lose some battles. They're not great. Like no one cares about them. No. They get decent money. They don't evolve the Pokemon to the next, like to the final level. Yeah. So it's like mid level, stays mid level. I think after a certain point, mid-level. they just kind of stop fighting with the with the Pokemon. I, I think at a certain point, our character just kind of has the Pokemon more as a pet than, like, I guess a companion. I like that, because then it kind of, you could see that he's still treating it right. You know, yeah, there's like, no, yeah, he's yeah. not like... Or he's not forgetting it. It's just kind of, you know... It becomes like a dog. It's yeah. just, it literally just becomes a dog, yeah. you know, or whatever. Or it could be more of a companion in the sense, like, maybe they're a farmer, so they're out farming. Oh, yeah, it goes it. out there and helps with Right, them. right. You know, if it's a Pidgey or something, like, picks up, drop crops or whatever bet, 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 bet. yeah and then and then the pokemon kind of passes away of old age and it's sad like we're, not, we're it's gonna be sad gang got a scene where you know d- digging you know you see a little little basic gravestone or whatever set up or like one of those little uh headstones the ones that lay on the ground flat yeah out in a field and, and then we see how old the person has become you know yeah. they're in not the, old, they're doing but like no 20, no no, no. 25 like, like, ish 26 yeah yeah that works like, too old to become a Pokemon trainer. Yeah. And that's how the movie begins. <laughs> On a bright note. How does... Let's let's answer two questions. Yeah. And if we have to backpedal, we will. Oh, we're going to... What's going to be the problem? I don't... Like, I'm having to kind of curb my intuition, which is like, make this the last EV. Make this... Uh, you know, someone wants it. Someone's chasing them down. I think we could do super small story about... A person trying to discover who they are inside or who they want to become with the help of a Pokemon that also does that. I think that would be fine and cute. And I take cute in a very positive way. Yeah. You know. Uplifting. I like that. Okay. Because I was going to say we could flip it on its head and say that there's some evil guy in the town that's after nah. it, I like your idea a heck of a lot better. Like there's no c- conflict per se. Uh, well, other, other than, than the like, conflict that they give themselves. Right. Like, yeah, no one's impressing them or anything like that. It's they themselves are, 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 I should say, the trainer A yeah. has to come to terms with what they want to be. Right. Who they want to be. Why they want to be. So that's more of a character study than a action-adventure movie. Oh, definitely there's going to be some action. Is there? Yeah, there's also going to be adventure. Wow. I think... Here's a weird thing. I think the Eevee should act very childlike. Yeah. 
Well, it's like a dog cat fox. Funny. It's like a dog cat, but of course it's, you know, sentient in the same way that Pikachu and Meowth and everybody else is. Right. But not like, and maybe it can't talk. Maybe it itself is confused at what it wants to be. And so it sees all these different, you know, like there's a picture book. Like he's like showing them, you know, because let's say the, the guy, of course, has put trainer egg, guy or girl, whatever. Yeah. Done their research. Yeah, like, like so they have, EVs like, aren't unknown. Book and like, like, they know how EVs work. Right, and they show it, and the EV's, like, really excited, and, like, points to one, and then, like, has a confused look, and then points to another, and then has a confused look, you know, and doesn't really know what it wants to be at first. Right. But as as they grow and learn and change, I guess. Oh, I know this sounds like such an easy cop-out, but then it could be, like, the EV could see something that the town needs, and the EV could decide to, when they finally arrive. I mean, there's a, like, we could, we could make this MacGuffin area be a mine that inside the stones exist and you could go and find whatever one you wanted. A couple couple things, couple random thoughts I have. Number one, not in like the a doomsday way, but we could have like if we wanted to go this route, maybe the generator is being powered by like a uh, uh whatever, the orb electric one, you know. Yeah, Voltorb. 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 Maybe the town's being powered by a Voltorb or something like that. And, and it's dying. You know, there's very a lot of Pokemon die in this one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and then, like, the Eevee can, like, in that moment, transform into Volteon and step up. I'm not wild about that. I'm just saying we could go that route. I, I like the idea of that. Yeah. And I think that's one to definitely keep in but, mind. But, like, we don't because... want it to be like, oh, the dam's going to break a big uh, Tataris coming or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, another route we could go is if, like, like we said, I, I like it that Eevees are this common knowledge thing where the th- special thing about Eevee, this specific Eevee is that our main character has it. Yeah. We don't necessarily need to put it in a mining town where all the stones are from. Like we could have them ship it through Amazon or whatever, you know, you know, like at that point, if Eevees are kind of so commonplace, I don't think that it's the fact that they're commonplace. It's just the fact that just like any other creature, you know about them. And I think in the way that Detective Pikachu built up the world and the way that everything else developed the world, there is still a sense of sportsmanship to a lot of it. So there are going to be traditions that are kept, even though it would be much more convenient to do something another way. So, for example, the town that they live in could be the thing is that since Eevees are not from there, it's like they don't really show up there. You know, right. it's not really common for well, them to okay. be there. Hey. And because of that, yeah. it's a journey that a trainer would have to take to that town or to that wherever to get the to get one of those whatever stones. dark stone psychic stone yeah or something uh i don't think either of those are the right names the only thing i don't like about like the ev not establishing the ev is not from that area is that i feel like we'd have to answer the question well why is the ev there and then it becomes like a mystery thing i i think honestly ev i mean evs are kind of rare in the world so it can be more it, I'm totally cool with him just finding, or her, whatever, uh, just finding a random Eevee and, like, kind of treating it like it's a lost dog. Right. In the sense, like, they they take care of it, and then they start to grow close with it, and then they start thinking about, well, what do you want to evolve into, bud? I like that. Maybe, and, and maybe that's what brings back that sense of, not necessarily sense of trainer, but brings them back to that point of getting back into everything, you know, because maybe... Yeah. They they they'd been so used to just dealing with life as an adult should, quote unquote. Right. Well, how long, how long has it been since their Pokemon died? Since their Pokemon died? Yeah. Like maybe like three years. Okay. So like enough time to not get over it. So but let's like, say when they were ten years old, that's when Ash beat Ash beat them. Beat them, right? <laughs> right. And then when they were like twenty twenty one or twenty two, they had this kind of casual relationship, and then it died of old age. But now they're 25, 26. They're still Pokemon, sad about Pokemon's been dead. They're not exactly looking for another Pokemon. Not right. in, in the same way that somebody might not look for another dog, you know? Yeah. Because, like, it brings up bad memories. But, like, when that Eevee shows up one rainy, stormy night, you yeah. know, you, your heart warms. Oh, of course. If you found a stray kitten on the road, what would you do? Kick it. <laughs> Hold on, Into buddy. my arm. <laughs> Can't, why don't we just make this a dog movie? I'm fine with that. You know dog. You know dog movies. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah, like, uh, like we, because of Win Dixie. Yeah, but like where the dog doesn't die. 
The dog didn't die in Win Dixie, didn't it? I don't think so. The dog usually dies at the end of dog movies, but this time the dog will die. not die. Let's do a dog mm. movie. I think the dog will be reborn. Yeah, it's a so different. Technically, the dog will die. It's like so. It's like a dog's purpose, kind of. <laughs> Let's backpedal because I think we've got a good point. It is a movie where an EV is found by a stranger who is not really looking for one, right. not really looking for anything. Yeah. Their intent is to take care of it in the same way that one would take care of a stray animal. Like, find it until there's a better owner. Or, like, maybe they plan to take it into the city and, and I guess, give it to a Pokemon doctor? Humane society? I don't know. You know, something like that. PETA. Yeah. Yeah, and and then, like, you know, that can kind of be the, the first deadline, so to speak. But then, like, the our character kind of, like, not falls in love, but, like, they like having an Eevee around. I think the Eevee, of course, should be this representation of that child, you know, childlike yeah. behavior that they, they've not, like, not that they've abandoned, you know, but it's that refreshing feeling. The Eevee is very yeah. naive. The Eevee is very helpful. So, like, normally you would think, Oh, it's like a dog. Dog's not going to do, you know, dog, dog's not going to help me with work. And so the person, the person wasn't expecting, let's say the person is kind of doing some farm stuff. Yeah, yeah, like Beethoven, where you're not going to expect, like you, the person wakes up, this is like maybe day two of having the, the Eevee. Yeah. Person wakes up, goes out and does their work, and then the Eevee pops out and starts helping. Yeah, but like in a bad way. <laughs> like it's not doing a good job. Sure, but you can see that it's attempted. It's earnest. Right. Okay, that's cool. And so, uh, yeah, I think... Ooh, let's get real sad with this. <laughs> How about instead of the dog dying, like you said, the dog changes, or Eevee evolves. What right. if the main character, at a certain point... Like, maybe they are questioning. It's like, well, it's an Eevee. You evolve it. That's what you do. But, like, at a certain point, the main character goes... I'm going to keep it as the normal Eevee. I like it. Right. Maybe, you know, maybe we can apply that once they change, they're not the same or something. Maybe they take uh, a trip. That, into the yeah, s- that could be it. Yeah. And it not, not necessarily that it's true, but it's enough of a statement that maybe you hear from somebody else in the town, you know, showcase with a little visual. Or maybe, yeah, well. they go into the city and talk to the Pokemon doctor and the doctor's like, oh, this is an Eevee. Well, have you considered evolving it? Oh, just a warning. Yeah, they talk about it. Once you do, they're think- not exactly the same. Yeah, or something something to that extent. I don't even think maybe the doctor should say it because I don't know how the anime approaches that. Because what you yeah, could do is point. you could have yeah. somebody else say something like, Man, you know, my friend you know, my, my friend had one or whatever. And it just wasn't the same. Well, you know, I, I say and, that I'm setting this up so that later if our main character says, I want to keep you as normal, which I like that. You know, oh, I get what you're saying. They, it, they, it they sac- know that they're gonna lose that. Yeah, and if when they it do quote unquote all. sacrifices itself to become the evolution, evolution, if you will. Uh, yeah, it's very sad because it's basically goodbye. It's like at the end of Wally. It's the end of every dog movie. So it, it, that's why I say that. And again, yeah, I don't know how the anime approaches that. So let us do a quick pause and think about the following. We know all the other types that it turns into. Yes, Volteon and the others. Do we want to do something where we pick one at random and create a situation based off of the one that we will have to end up sacrificing itself as? Well, I'd be sure having a tough time thinking of a use for a dark Eevee. <laughs> it, uh... And also, that may be hard for uh, general audiences to grasp. So you're thinking we want to keep the end turn a mystery right now? No, I, no, I'm fine with choosing. Story. I just say we probably go with one of the, you know, more easy to grasp ones like uh, the water, electric, fire, ice, grass. Yeah. Psychic, maybe. So you say Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Glaceon, and Leafeon. Well, I'll let you choose, I guess, if you have one, which, which you would like to... I was going to choose... Um, I mean, if you could so, come, if you could come up with a legit reason, I'm cool. I just thought we'd yeah, have a harder I, I, time thinking of those. For Umbreon and Sylveon and Espeon, that's more strictly focused on like combat. Like, there's no real world application that I could see those having. 
Right. We want a real world application. Well, okay. Here's a question though. If it, let's say whatever, the generator fails and Volte has to become Volte on. Would it be more of a note where the character has to start that relationship over or it's gone forever? That depends on if we want to end the movie there. Well, could, I was thinking more of the latter. Where, like, it's think, over. Okay, okay, let's get away from the generator idea. And I think we can go ahead and cement what that is, but I don't right. think it should be a generator. Well, my, qu- well my big question is... Yeah. Uh, if it's something in the village that needs fixing... I've why got can't... it, I've got it, I've got well, it. Okay, go ahead. Leafeon. It's a farming town. Right. I thought it was a mining Say, town. Well, <laughs> it's both. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the person is a farmer, I know we keep saying that just kind of as a referential That's, thing. Yeah, I mean, it could be both a farming and a mining town. I, it's just a small town. They, Whatever they yeah. supply for themselves. Well, I think maybe maybe let's let's even go that extra mile. Let's say it is a mining town. So farming is very difficult, but that's what needs to be done to survive. Okay, not because it's primitive. Yeah, but because it's you know it's like hey you gotta you gotta make food for your family and for yourself. Let's say that our trainer A grows up, realizes that they should be mining. They start you know not should farming. Mining. They should be farming. They start farming. We yeah. see their Pidgey help them with farming as best as it can. You know it does good. It's it learns. You know and it's picking up stuff. It's yeah. helping. It can spread seed because it can fly over, you know, and drop the seed. You know, we see this example. Oh, I got. I, I see where you go. When the Eevee starts doing that later, we see that there's not really anything the Eevee uh, can benefit yeah. because it's a dog, you know. Maybe there's something in the town that showcases that when the leafy when the Eevee makes a decision, it it itself sacrifices because it knows that will help the human, but the human doesn't want that because it knows it will reset the relationship with the Pokemon. So you're saying the relationship wouldn't... I mean, it'd be over, but, like, it could be regained? Yeah, and I think we could end on a positive note of I'm that, I'm fine too, with that, yeah. Because then we could see... We could have the point where maybe, once it evolves, the Eevee has full extent to evolve and then help. But then when the Leafeon comes out, it's, you know, very stoic. It's very, you know... It's not naive anymore. It looks like an adult. How about we make this just... And it just kind of goes its own way. Yeah. And the guy says, you know what? I should have expected that. It would I have like no, that. It would have no reason to stay with me. And then the movie could end with it. Like, you know, he's working out in the field and all of a sudden the things start growing. The wheat starts growing. Yeah. You know, and it faster. like comes up to him and like nuzzles his leg or whatever. Or maybe not that. But so, yeah, no, something no. But to like you see, He looks not. back and he sees it, you know? Whatever we choose. I like the leafy on thing. I think... If I can, if I may take control of this dial, the sadness dial, just crank it way the hell up to like <laughs> oh, forty. No, no, do it. What if the Pokemon, the 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 one that they didn't evolve, was a grass type, and it's not so much an emergency that causes the Eevee to change, but it is the understanding that this guy is still not over his Pokemon, and the and the Eevee wants to help by becoming Leafeon. If I can just take the if I can just take the dial and just kind of rip it off. So you're saying before it was a leaf, or the other one was a leafy. No, 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 no. But it was like a grass type, so it could help in the same way or oh. whatever, whatever type. Oh, that would be because the then you could have, of course, scenes where it's like the human obviously does not want them to do that in the sense that it, it does not right. want them to feel obligated or whatever, and it doesn't want to have to reset the relationship. But we would have imagery where the Eevee is looking and there's a picture of it, you know, yep. hugging its, yeah, its grass type Pokemon. Oh, and the Eevee, the Eevee gets a sad face. Oh, it's, I have a sad face. <laughs> That's so sad. No, I don't. I I like that, but I don't like it because it. it's so sad. Because it's so sad, and it's it's. I think we would have to end on the high note if we did that. Yeah, absolutely. But I think it should be almost a case of like maybe whatever. They get the stones somehow. Amazon mines, whatever. <laughs> and they're like trying to decide, like, should I turn into Flareon, Vaporia, or whatever. And it's like, I guess implied that like these things aren't, like they're not a dime a dozen, but like he has a couple of them or she has a couple of these stones. Like how they get like it doesn't that. really matter. What matters is the choice they ultimately make. And then all that to say, like, yeah, Evie has this kind of moment where, She's looking at the... Because Eevees are female. We learned this. Uh, so you have this moment where the Eevee is looking at the pictures and we, we we see that she understands the relationship and also understands that her relationship with the trainer is not the same. 
And so she makes the conscious decision to like go to the box where the trainer stored all the stones and takes out the leaf stone and evolves. Mm. I, you know what? Yeah. I think we can make that even sadder. Do it, that. baby. Do it, baby. I think what we can do is Take it. we show, we show the EV as the EV progresses, you know, with living with that person, the EV is as like a child showing interest in all the things that could become. And maybe it's like, we see like, uh, you know, there's a point where the trainer's kind of looking in on it and it's like playing around, you know, just by itself. Yeah. And it's mimicking the pictures of the different ones that it's seeing. And maybe it's not even focusing on Leafy on. Like, it's not even really thinking about that. Yeah. And the trainer sees this and kind of thinks, oh, you know what? How about I give this the chance? You know, it's like, it's what it wants. It really, you know, it kind of sees that. And so it's like thinking, if it's what it wants, then I'll buy the options and give it the option to choose what it wants to be. And so, of course, it would get the stuff, it would set it down, and maybe after the trainer thinks about this, the EV kind of like at that point would would have a moment where it decides not to, because then it sees kind of the the sadness of the trainer. And then that's when it could look and see it's like, well, it was happy with a grass type Pokemon. That's pretty good. <laughs> the thing I don't know. So that's a it, little too much. It is a little too much, but I don't even think it's necessarily sad. I just think I like know, the it, trainer I feel, knows the trainer is expecting it. I feel like it trainer, downplays of course, the is trainer's a little, is a little downtrodden. I feel like it downplays the trainer's choice to have it stay normal. Oh, that makes sense. Especially yeah. with the significance of we know we already know what happens when he doesn't evolve a Pokemon is that they die over time. Right. Well, it's going to die anyway, but it like evolving it increases right. its lifespan and everything. We show that the relation like the trainer chooses the, to keep the EV normal. Yeah. And that's significant, but the EV still consents and obviously we can with the actor or actress. That there's still a little, there's still some sadness in there that hasn't yeah. been resolved. And the Eevee and her wise understanding. Okay, that does bring me to the next point. What we have okay. right now is a wonderful, it is a mm, fantastic short film. I, I think we can make this into a feature film. I think if we're doing this character study, let's take this this trainer, main, quote unquote, We let's just call him uh, Serena. Uh, so okay. I think that's the Pokemon trainer from Pokemon X. One of yeah. them. Or like Clyde. I forget the other Something one. Something like that, yeah. Whatever. Serena. Uh, we take Serena. I think we should give her conflicts. External conflicts. Like a parent relationship. Or like you said, this town. You know, things that, that can like play into her character or their character. And, and that, um, what's the word? Elevates the relationship with Evie. Okay. So, like, uh, maybe she has a really bad relationship with her parents. You know? Maybe maybe her parents, at a strange, like, fun, like, twist, are, like, uh, they're kind of disappointed that she never blossomed into a good trainer. And, like, she kind of wanted to stay at home where the culture is, whereas the culture is to leave home and to become this great trainer. I like that. At least the popular and it not culture. necessarily makes it that it's like a bad relationship with the parents. It's just it's there's these these small seeds of discontent. Yeah, and know? like they argue a lot, and like yeah, like you said, small seeds of disc. You get the impression that like they're not really happy with each other. You know, it, I mean, Serena lives by herself. Her parents, I assume, live in the town, or maybe they moved out to the big city or something. Right at this point, Serena is an adult that lives by herself. Yeah, but. We've witnessed we've witnessed this you know interaction with the parents. Maybe there's like a phone call that's you know not not ending on a good note. You know, right? Or she goes visits them in the city, and they're like, "Oh, you have an EV. What are you going to evolve it into?" And at this point, she's like, "I'm not going to evolve it into anything. I like it the way it is." And they go, "Oh, honey." Yeah, it's just kind of like this. Remember like, what happened when oh. you didn't evolve your last Pokemon? You know, something like shut that, up. That like really digs into her. Yeah, and she could be like, come on, mom, I hate you. Uh, so what other kind of relationships and conflicts can we give her? I think this should be, uh, did you ever see like a marriage story? I don't think I did. Or, you know, just like a, a kind of a slow moving drama that's like very character based, very dialogue based, no big action set pieces or anything. Yeah, if we could cool, do that. If, I think if you're cool do, with and that. We could just have it be, okay, so we'll say parent, parent is one. I think the 
conflicts need to be different from each other. Yeah. So it's, of course, the parents are more, oh, you should have become a trainer. I think we could have maybe, like, I don't want to say, like, a love interest, but we could have a character that could have been, like... We could have an ex. Yeah, there we go. What's it, what do you think? Maybe it's, like, it's, a, it's not terrible. Like, it didn't end terribly, so it's, like, there's still a connection, because that's, that's more reasonable than not, you know? Yeah. But uh, there's still a conflict there, and it's not even, like, a conflict related to the relationship. It's, like, a conflict of this person doesn't... Maybe this person just doesn't care. And so that's part of the reason maybe that they did break things off is that they don't care about the Pokemon world. They don't care about the, the you know, real world. They don't care about whatever. I say real world and Pokemon world as if they're different. But, like, they don't care about the... Non-glitz and glamour world. Right. So they're just kind of like, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you become a trainer. doesn't matter if you doesn't. doesn't matter if you don't, you know, even want to grow up or something. And there's just kind of that sense of immaturity. And there could even be points where the character questions the validity of that statement. You know, it's like, well, what is the point of being mature if like all these things that are happening around me are, are not necessarily positive? And that's once again, to bring back the question yeah. of quote unquote aging, you know, where the, the way that like Pokemon that. age is through evolution. That's the, yeah, that's like never been explored before. I, I, I do like that. Does the X live in the town? Yeah, I think for sure. I think even there should be like even a closer draw than that. Like maybe if we set it up that it's such a small town that this character is going to be seen at the grocery store or something. Yeah, or the bar or whatever. Yeah. yeah. A social place. Like Evie to the bar. <laughs> I want to turn you into a drunkie. <laughs> Uh-oh. You've become liver failion. Uh-oh. <laughs> you've become alcohol <laughs> We can We can have... We can kind of contrast it where, like, uh, throughout the movie, Serena's relationships human relationships i guess become mm-hmm. worse but her relationship with evie becomes stronger until and oh, maybe that would really cement the whole point of not wanting to change that relationship right and th- I but get that. but to g- have evie make that choice i think there should be a breaking point you know end of end of act three something like that where i think things should i i at least i don't know about the x i'm not gonna say i think the x should be more there just to give like her ideas yeah. about how to think in a way not to actually grow as a character but the i think ex- the parents should i think the parents should kind of yeah, clean yeah, things yeah. up like they you know they realize well that does maybe and we could even not like make it convenient but have it to the point where maybe the parents are like you know i realize what i said and if you decide that this is what you want you know and, and not even once again it could it may, it may be right before that point you know so right. that it's just everything is just piling on. Okay, a couple things. All right. I, li- I like it. Yeah, that's, I'm cool with that. Uh, number one, I think we should have the farm that Serena works on kind of be the family farm that she took over when her parents, I guess, quote unquote, retired to the big city. Yeah, I like that. They didn't want to work anymore. They're getting too old. Yeah, and they're like, oh, you're still working at that old farm. It's like, like I they thought don't you would have sold it by now or something, you know? Yeah. Uh, so what does Serena want to do? We've kind of gotten off track with that idea. Do I we think still want to keep it? What Serena wanted to do will be different than what she wants to do now. What she wants to do now is live in peace with her current understanding of what maturity is. That's what she wants? That is what she wants now. Her other understanding, you know, her, her growing up, her understanding was become something special, become something big. Then we see in that little segment we talked about earlier where she doesn't continue to evolve the grass-type Pokemon and grows with it and works with it on the farm, she gets, a, she gets maturity in the sense of responsibility. She says, you know, I, I can't become the best, but I can do my part and I can become a, a responsible adult. I can, beca- I can become my best. There you go. Okay, I, yeah, so it's maybe her arc is more of Instead of like kind of being on the farm and being like wasting the day away, it's like she always has felt that kind of regret. Like maybe she sees posters of Red, or he, you know, he's on the TV doing an interview, and she's like, you know, that could have been me. I don't know if she should be too enthralled with that. I think it should definitely be something that speaks to her. I think we have a scene before original Grass type dies, before we see it, you know, as as age goes by, we have a moment 
where it's almost like we see her come to terms with it. There's a thing on TV with Red. And you see for a second she's thinking, could have been me. Maybe she looks at the wall and there's like a, a, a desk and there's like, you know, her satchel and a pokeball, you know, on a, on a end table. And then she looks over and her grass type Pokemon is just kind of sleeping, you know, with a, with a happy expression and sees, sees maybe the sense in the, in the some ways that adults feel that maturity is by how you treat others. So sees how content the Pokemon is just doing this. Thinks, you know what? This is good enough for me. Because then they can all they can always go back on that later right. once they I would, start. I would being rather with have that be the moment shared with the Eevee, where it's the contentment. And because I feel like with this grass, the first grass, we'll call it the grass starter. What is it? It's a bulbasaur, whatever. Like it was fine with fighting. It was happy to do whatever. Right. Like yeah. and like she can't get uh, like, you know this, when one of your family members does something bad, like, you still love them, but, like, you still remember that one thing, and you kind of can't get over it, if it's bad enough. With this Bulbasaur, like, she can't get over the fact that she lost the battle with it, you know? Oh, that... Not that she, she doesn't know. dislike it, let me be clear. Like, she's not like, ah, you little... Okay. <laughs> I hate you because of this. <laughs> but, like, you, you get the sense... It, it eats right, at her, yeah, I get what but you're when saying. she has Eevee... It's not necessarily the fault of the Bulbasaur, but because the Bulbasaur was the main part right. of that. It's it shared in the experience, and almost like because they're still together, they can't move past it. And, but when she gets to Eevee, it's almost like blank slate. And then, like you said, she sees how contented it, it is, like it's sleeping in his little basket. And then she makes the decision, I'm going to keep it the way it is. I like it. I love this little, this little thing. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to push it to become something else. You could, And if we went the route of maybe... Because I like the theme of maturity. I do too. I like the theme of finding finding what your maturity yeah. is. Because, of course, to a human, to an animal, those are two completely different things. I have been told that. Well, to, to, to a Pokemon. All right, let's, <laughs> let's, let's be real here. And to different humans, it's different things. Like, like Well, like, Serena's maturity is coming to terms... With her life, mm -hmm. Evie's maturity is much more. Uh, uh, what's the word? Colorful. Well, yeah, in a way, but like, <laughs> it literally matures. Right. Like it becomes something bigger and better. Yeah, yeah. I think we should also have like a, like a maybe not a best friend, but like a a friend, like a, maybe a fellow farmer or something. You know, you have all these relationships. You build up the relationships of the uh, of this town. And it, like it could be a real spot, like you know, like Pallet Town, where it's like four houses <laughs> or something. Well, like a reasonably small thing, right? Really, like maybe there's small. there's a there's a kind of a center to it, miles away. But where they live right now is right. just kind of on the outskirts, where there's a few town, there's a few houses, and yeah. mostly farmland. And I think throughout the movie, we have some imagery where maybe. Maybe her friend has a has a son or a daughter who's like becoming Tim, and it's like, oh, I gave him his running shoes. Yeah, he's out to go catch Pokemon. And Serena's like, oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember when I did that. And then the the the, the farmer's like, oh, you were a Pokemon trainer? How'd you how'd you end up here? You know, stuff like that. Yeah, and they're each giving their own. Which is once again, the X is kind of has this thing where it's their maturity is kind of not to say wrongful. But it's, it's their own a misguided thing. sense of holding on to what you like. Right. And even it, if that it, means not, you know, yeah. pushing past it. It builds conflict in the sense, not that it's wrong, but it contrasts with Serena's specific yeah. idea of maturity. And the same thing is with how the parents see it should have happened and how this farmer has done it, you know, and all these other things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last thing. should I kind of mentioned this kind of conflict with Evie that causes it to become Leafeon. Do you think mm -hmm. there should be a conflict? Because I feel like it just kind of deciding that after they I both think seem at, at content. this point, I think it deciding it is kind of the conflict because the conflict is once again within itself. <laughs> right. I just not don't necessarily. To... Okay, let me rephrase that. Not within the Eevee itself, but within the context of the audience knows how both of them feel about this. Yeah, we just the Eevee uh, wants to be wants to be that so it can be helpful so it can be what i don't the think evie wants. necessarily wants to become leafeon like specifically or even evolve but it wants to fully fill serena's heart 
it wants to make it wants to be beneficial. And I think if we showcase that Evie is not helpful with the farm work, right? That that will cement that without making it the, the main conflict because we want no Serena no no no, no. To but that, be... that's going to be not like we keep coming back to that right. but even if we just have one scene yeah because then maybe there's another scene later where the Evie's looking out and it's it's out there in the field but it can't do anything it's just kind of looking and it knows it can't it's just yeah. kind of kind of pouts or something you know yeah. not like sad but we just, just have the, like, mm. yeah Serena is fine with it being normal she loves it yeah. being normal it just but it's not over that final hump to like fully acquiesce itself in I, as a family new, new angle i yeah. didn't even think on this yeah slightly new angle since serena didn't get to be happy in the way she expected to be happy i mean right. she's content but since that has stuck with her about the past she feels like she didn't get to achieve what she wanted she's not going to force evie to leave the happiness and childlike naivety that it has mm, i like that another parallel I see. Right. Doesn't have to change anything yeah. in the story. Just the new angle. And I, th- I think uh, maybe the scene that spurs Evie to become Leafy on is like, you know, it's late one night after the bar. Sarita comes home. She's a little, t- she's a little tipsy. You know, and, th- and then we just see her like crying in front of a picture of her and her old Pokemon. Yeah. Or, you know, something like that. The, it's, the Evie's it's not, like. It's not necessarily a prime example of what is the reality. But it's emotions brought out by the situation that are kind of a, uh, what's the term? A, uh, not like a one-time thing, but kind of like a fallback. You know, it's like she right. wouldn't be doing this normally, but because she's in the state that she's in. Right, 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 right. And that's what speaks to Evie, because that's and all And maybe she, she has a fight with her ex in the bar where he, like, mentions her old Pokemon or something like that. Yeah, so she's already She's already thinking about that. You know, yeah. yeah. The one thing, it might be too late at this point. But my pro- my only I I do have a slight problem with Evie changing into Leafeon for that reason, and it's the message we're sending people is that change yourself so people will love you. I think we can we can clear that up in the way that the story ends, because if we have it end in two parts, part A is the Leafeon once it's new it leaves, because since it's different the fears of the trainer came to light. It's different. It doesn't want to have anything to do with me. That's that. That's Serena's. That's Serena's perspective of the Leafeon. And the Leafeon maybe at first is legitimately like that. We could say that yeah. it changed. It changed, but you know we could be campy and say that. Well, something I think it, it should be more like a stranger in her own house, where like they used to cuddle by the fireplace, and now Leafeon's like in her basket. Then perfect. If we yeah. do that, if we do that, that does show. A negative side of that, not not once again, not like we're trying to paint okay, it as a yeah, black and I like white that. thing because everything is a moral gray area here, you know. With spec moral. station, everything's morally gray. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it shows. I think it would be interesting if we could kind of get a perspective, and and we see, of course, the leafy on is now mature, quote unquote. Yeah, like it's, it's regal. Stoic. It, it's acting regal, if you will. It doesn't play right. And we can even not have it. We can even have it backpedal. I think, like we yeah. can have it go out, and it's very, it's very full motion. Like helps with it, but then we see that uh, Serena isn't happy. So she goes out there, and you know, the Leafeon is not like excited, but you know, dutiful. You know, what's the term? Um, it's helping her out, but then it like warms up and starts to be a little more playful. And then we have the movie. I think there. at the end, yeah, that'd be the thing. It's like it. Yeah. it it's doing all this. We see how that affects. There's no happiness, and then maybe something clicks, and okay. the fans like, "Ah, okay." See, I this was, is not. This is not what it should have been. You I know? was stuck as having Evie turn into Leafeon at like mid Act Three. No, no, no. End You're saying film. it go like end of, end of Act Two, and that really drives the wedge between them until they resolve. Yep. Okay, I'm totally cool with that. I like that. That answered that answered my big old my big old question. Because then Leafeon, in kind of a in kind of a weird way starts to realize this is this isn't the happiness you know this isn't the happiness i wanted this isn't the happiness she has you know hey kids getting older sucks but what better way to tell you than with don't don't touch the leaf stone kids (laughs) stop it garrett i'm touching the leaf stone again eric garrett no i'm gonna do it
Well, that's the Pokemon movie. I liked it. Did you uh, like it? Yeah, it's really cool. Look, everyone loves a good old sad dog movie. <laughs> I this is very. This was maybe sadder than our Tetris movie, but in a, in it on a high note, in a sweet way, yeah, yeah. Because everyone likes bittersweet, dogs. very bittersweet. Uh, what do we call it though? Because we can't call it the Pokemon movie, obviously. I think we call it Pokemon Evolution. <laughs> That's too cool. That's too cool of a name. I don't think Pokemon should be in the title. I don't think it should either, but... It would be, it would be da 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 a Pokemon movie. Oh, you know? Solo, a Pokemon movie. <laughs> How about... Because they're trying to do this like kind of artsy indie, right? Like it's kind of yeah. like small I think budget. it should be like one word or something. How about Evolution, a Pokemon experience? <laughs> <laughs> or Pokemon movie. I think either Ev- Eevee, Evolution, Evolution or Eeveelution. Evolution is already like a thing, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm good with either of those. I, we'll let the audience decide. And speaking All of right. our audience. Hello. How are y'all doing? And by hello, I mean goodbye. Thanks so much for listening to our dog Pokemon movie. Sorry we didn't talk about any of the real Pokemon dogs like Poochina or the other ones. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but look, guys, we all love dogs deep down inside. Even though Joe and I are both cat people. Um, if you know people who like dogs and Pokemon, I'd imagine there's a pretty big overlap there. Uh, share the show with them. You don't know, say, hey, these two rascals talked about dogs and Pokemons for like an hour. And I know you like those. Uh, share it with a friend. We are uh, on Spotify. We're on iTunes. Uh, we're wherever you get podcasts. Be sure to rate us on iTunes. Follow us. On Spotify, that helps the show grow and uh, get more eyes or ears on or in it. And if you want to know where you can find links to all of those things in one simple place, go to our website at www.speculativerealism.com. That is realism with two E's, like a film reel. Two E's. Two E's. It's like the Pokeballs of webs. Uh, it's like, it's a website like a Pokeball. What does that mean? Because it catches all our shows. <laughs> uh, on our website, Pokeball is also linked to our uh, Patreon, where you can uh, help us support the show in a more uh, uh, economical way. See, that's uh, what happens when you give Evie the uh, crowdfunder stone. You get <laughs> bit, you, get, you give her the Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we I mean we obviously appreciate every Patreon sponsor we have. It it really does help us grow and. We can do more crazy stuff or non-crazy stuff. More stuff in general. And if you want to see us do more stuff and you have an idea for more stuff, say you've got a game idea that you're thinking, you know, this could make a really good movie and we haven't done it yet. Or you've got an idea for something we've already done and said, you know what? I think this movie idea could work really well. Let us know. Yeah. Or you can be more specific. You can say, uh, hey, I want to see you do a Binding of Isaac movie that's a love story. I don't know. It, it, explain yourself, but we can, we definitely <laughs> would take that and run with it. Uh, we like running with things. We don't like running with our feet. Well, and if you don't want to do the hard work, you can follow us we'll on We'll do the hard work. Media. We do the hard work. Yeah, we are at SpecReal. Again, that's real with two E's. At SpecReal on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the good stuff. Uh, you can keep informed about shows, updates, uh, previews, previews of what's going on. Thank you. All that good, good podcast stuff. Well, we're about to head off. We're leaving the speculation station. All right, folks. We'll see. Oh, I've never got to say this before. We'll see you on the next stop. Choo-choo. Bye. Bye.